everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Sally and today, meron akong inspiring story na isi-share sa inyo. It's about new retired friend na nakilala namin. This story is perfect for anyone curious about life after retirement, especially for those considering where to settle down or retire. So stick around to hear why our new friend, let's call him Tito Juan, finds life in the Philippines better than ever. So let's start with how we met Tito Juan. It was during one of our favorite weekend activities, our breakfast rides. For those of you who don't know, every weekend, we gather with our group of motorcycle enthusiast friends for a ride to different breakfast spots around the Philippines. The great way to start the weekend, enjoy the scenic route, and share good food with even better company. On this particular weekend, Tito Juan was invited by one of our friends a group. First ride namin to kasama siya, so we chose a longer route to explore more places. Yung usual na breakfast ride naging whole day ride. First, we stopped at a cozy little cafe in Baguio. As we were enjoying our breakfast and chatting, Tito Juan openly shared his story. We started talking at doon namin nakilala at nalaman ang life story nila. Tito Juan is a retired Filipino-American who spent most of his career in the United States working as a Homeland Security or U.S. Customs Officer. He had a critical role, screening travelers at airports and making important decisions about who could enter the U.S. After many years of service, he decided to retire about a year and a half ago and move back to the Philippines with his wife, Tita Maria. As we got to know Tito Juan, he shared some surprising perspectives. Despite what many might think, he believes that life in the Philippines is much better now than in the U.S. He said, and I quote, I don't know why people still want to go to America. It's not like it used to be. Everything you can find there, you can also find here in the Philippines. Ayun ang sabi niya. He talked about how much the U.S. has changed and how the hustle and bustle there are not as appealing as they once were. In comparison, he finds the lifestyle in the Philippines more relaxed and fulfilling. At isa pang factor is the cost of living. Cost of living in the Philippines ay mas mababa compared to the U.S. According to data, you can live comfortably here for about $1,500 a month, whereas sa U.S., you might need double or even triple that amount to maintain a similar lifestyle. Tito Juan's wife, Tita Maria, plays a significant role in their lives here. She runs a successful insurance company that her father originally built. This family business was passed down to Tita Maria and her siblings. It's a great example of how family businesses can continue to grow and evolve across generations. They even advise their kids who are still in the U.S. na pumunta na rin sa Pilipinas because they could probably make more money here than over there. However, like many young people, their kids don't like to leave the U.S. because they like the comfort and security of life there. So, what's life like for Tito Juan now? He's absolutely loving it. One of his favorite activities is riding his motorcycle around the beautiful sights of the Philippines. Imagine cruising along the coastline or through lush mountains. It's like living on a postcard. He finds this type of freedom fulfilling, which he felt was lacking in the fast-paced lifestyle of the U.S. He enjoys the simple pleasures of life, like our breakfast rides, where we get to explore new places, meet new people, and share stories. Looking ahead, Tito Juan and Tita Maria have some exciting plans. They want to expand the family business further and explore opportunities. They also want to travel more, both within the Philippines and abroad. Tito Juan shared some wise advice for others considering retirement in the Philippines or managing a family business. He emphasized the importance of planning and being open to new experiences. The Philippines offers a wealth of opportunities, he said. But it's important to approach it with the right mindset and a willingness to adapt. Talking about this makes me think, 
Bakit yung mga kakilala ko na nasa abroad gustong gustong umuwi ng Pilipinas while yung mga nasa Pilipinas naman gustong gustong mag-abroad? It's a fascinating question, isn't it? On the one hand, people who live abroad often miss the warm culture, close friends and family, and a slower pace of life back home. They want to feel like they belong and miss the food, events, and other special things about home. On the other hand, people in the Philippines often see going abroad as a chance for a better life, earning higher salaries, or experiencing a different lifestyle. The promise of financial stability can be very appealing. Sino ba namang ayaw nun, di ba? It's like this constant push and pull. For some, it's about chasing dreams, while for others, it's about finding a place that feels like home. And sometimes, the grass seems greener on the other side. Hearing Tito Juan's story made me reflect on my own journey. I transitioned from a nursing career to entrepreneurship, not unlike Tito Juan's shift from a demanding job to a more relaxed life in retirement. For me, ang goal ko was time freedom, to have more control over my schedule and to spend quality time with my family. It's interesting how our paths, though different, led us to similar realizations. The desire for time freedom and a fulfilling lifestyle is not just for retirees. It is something that everyone, regardless of age, can aim for. Like Tito Juan, I found that making this shift allowed me to enjoy more of what life has to offer, whether it's through business ventures, exploring new places, or simply enjoying a peaceful morning ride. This story really made me think about the different paths we can take in life and how retirement is not just an end but a new beginning. It's amazing to see Tito Juan and Tita Maria are reinventing their lives in such a meaningful way and how my own journey from nursing to becoming an entrepreneur has allowed me and my husband to enjoy similar freedoms. It also reminds me of the importance of living life fully in the present. Whether you're working towards retirement, starting a new business, or simply enjoying your daily life, the key is to cherish each moment and make the most of it. Freedom isn't just about having more time or money. It's about having the freedom to choose how we spend our days, to follow our passions, and to be with the people we love. We don't need to wait for retirement before we enjoy life. Enjoy life now before it's too late. So, what do you think? Have you ever considered moving to the Philippines or another country for retirement? I'd love to hear your thoughts, so please share them in the comments below. And if you want to know how our rich motorcyclist friends are making millions each week, watch this video next.